the sainthood cause of the great Jesuit missionary to China, Matteo Ricci, has arrived at the Vatican 403 years after his death in Beijing. The diocesan phase of his canonization cause initially opened in 1984 and was almost immediately closed down because there were questions about Matteo Ricci's commitment to pure Christianity. His cause embodies a lot of what we would call today questions about enculturation, the limits of how much of local cultural expressions and practices are compatible with Christianity. Since the Second Vatican Council, Catholics have spoken a lot about missionary work and enculturation, bringing the gospel to different peoples in a way that respects their culture, purifies some elements of their culture because of the demands of the gospel, but also using some of their cultural expressions to profess their Christian faith. Even 400 years ago, there were great missionaries like Matteo Ricci who recognized that you cannot bring the gospel of love and salvation to somebody that you don't actually love. That giving somebody the gospel and telling them the good news is something that is motivated and finds success because you're actually offering this out of love and respect for them. And so Matteo Ricci, I think, is a, a good example of how the first missionary act is showing love and respect for the other person then they'll be willing to listen to what you say. Then you will be offering them the good news that they need. Mm -hmm.